Okay, folks, today we're going to be looking at the Homex wall patch and repair kit. And we're going to be fixing this hole in the wall right here. What's that? Oh, oh, there's not a hole in the wall. Hold on. I'm a handyman. I can fix it. As I was saying, we're going to be using the Homax wall patch and repair kit to fix this hole in the wall. Let's take a look at this kit. This kit is going to come with, I'll tell you what it's going to come with right here on lid. Spackling, putty knife, a 4x4 four four steel wall patch, and two drywall sanding pads. That's all you need to fix holes like this. I think this says someplace up to like four inches. It's quite a bit of putty in there. Spackling, drywall mud, whatever you want to call it. Here's a little uh, drawl knife it comes with. Putty knife, whatever you want to call it. Here's our, here's our patch. Here's our sanding pads. The cardboard back. Here's the directions for this. If we follow the directions, it says, step one, lightly sand around the hole, and then wipe clean. And I like to sand in a oval pattern. Step two says, remove backing paper from the patch, apply spackling to the metal side of the wall patch and press firmly over hole. Now, as I said earlier, this is about a, uh, I think someplace on here it says for up to a four inch patch. So, I'm gonna take our paper. I'm hoping you get all this. There's our little metal. See, fiberglass. And according to the instructions, they want you to apply the spackling to the metal side so in my way of thinking it's this side here so let's do that let's take our gee this spackling's pretty stiff you might want to take your spackling and work it a little bit pretty stiff of course it's pretty cold today too I imagine if it was 100 degrees in here whoo that smells I imagine if it was 100 degrees in here that would be a little bit thinner. And it's getting a little bit thinner. So we're going to take a good portion of it. Put it on the back. Not, not this part, but the back. And I would suspect you only need as much as the, it's a little bit larger than, than the hole. So. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to take my, really press that in there. Let's get it nice and straight, right? Mm -hmm. Not that it makes a difference because it doesn't once you get it finished. Now I'm taking my putty knife and I'm forcing that mud, or that spackling, whatever you want to call it, it's drywall mud. At the end of the day, it's out. As you can see, it's coming out from around that metal. And I'm going to, I'm thinning it out to the outer edges of this fiberglass mesh. Step three, you're going to cover the entire patch now with spackling. Now you want this as flat as you can get it. There we go. Okay, now we've got this feathered out pretty good. Step four says allow this to dry about five hours, depending on humidity and all that. So, we're going to do that. Okay, here's been a couple hours. 
It's dry. Pretty good, actually. I like that putty, but it's just hard, hard, hard to stiff. It's hard to put on. So now we're gonna feather the edges. Um, putty knife there. That's a big old. Now I'm gonna have to have another coat because I can feel right here. I don't know if you can see that raised just a little bit. That's fine. That's what you would do with a but on a regular patch anyway. So I'm gonna go around, knock the high sides off this. I'm gonna knock that whole thing off right there. Stuff is ain't bad. It's pretty coarse sandpaper that they give you in the kit. Okay. Okay, see, you can see how stiff that is. It's pretty doggone stiff. Just trying to get it on there. That old putty knife is to get right there. Okay, let me put this down. You work it with my left hand so you can put and I just want a smooth transition from this in here. Left handed either. So we're gonna come back over. More pressure on this side than that side. More pressure on this side than, than this side. When we do that it's gonna help feather this out. So it's all pretty much level now. I've went out far enough away from the edges. It's almost level. This is probably all this needs when I come back and I sand it. Then my next step would be to prime, put primer on it, let the primer dry, come back with some Homex um, spray texture, wall texture. I'll uh, leave a link here up top to, the, to that video. Texture it let the texture dry and uh paint it so and then we would be done but but that's how you're going to patch that hole in the wall with that homax patch and repair kit um like i said you can see the price down here at amazon they're they're not much and they're great for patching a hole so anyway donald blue collar diy make sure you check us out on the blog um like and subscribe Catch you on next video.